who may equal Shannon Miller's performance this evening. Once again, Paul Sunderland, Julianne McNamara at the America's Center. Welcome back to the America's Center in St. Louis, Missouri for the women's individual event finals. Donnie Thompson next up on the uneven and parallel bar. She won this event during her all around performance where of course she won that as well with a 9.850. Julianne trying to match that tonight. Will her program be any different? She has a very difficult performance. You'll see several release moves and watch the way she swings. She's beautiful to watch on this event. Good form on that release move. There's a combination to Kachev Ginger. She increases the difficulty by combining the release moves. Here's another to Kachev over the high bar. She has very smooth swing. That's what you want to see on the uneven bars. She sets up for her dismount here. You'll see a double laid out backflip. Sticks the landing. Beautiful job. Her entire family is here in St. Louis. Debbie and Mike, her parents, sister Jenny, brother Brandon, and they have to be very, very happy about that performance. Take a look once again at her dismount, which she just sticks perfectly. This is the way this dismount should be done. She gets a good release off of the bar, good height, and a perfect landing. Next up, Andrea Pickens out of Houston, Texas. Flip. That's a flyaway. She does a flip with a half turn and re grabs the bar. She's very nice, long lines, good form. And Paul, what's fun about the event finals, you'll see the gymnast throw some moves that you might nor not normally see. This just now, let's see. She did that. A one and a half twisting front flip. That's called a Rooney. She woke up both a half twist and a one and a half. And it's exciting to see that she went for it. We've seen some phenomenal landings, and this was right there with the whole group of Christy Powell and others. Look at this dismount. She does a front flip and one and a half twists. Most of the time, you'll just see a half twist. That's great to see. Spotting the floor just in time to get around a small step on the landing, but a fabulous performance by Andrea Pickens. Second in the all-around. Second in the uneven parallel bars during that competition, our next competitor from Colorado Springs. Christy starts off with a very difficult move that you'll see here. She goes into Eagle Giants, taken from the men's high bar. Look at the extension on her shoulders. That is beautiful. Reverse Hector over the bar. The reason the release moves are so difficult is that you can't see the bar until you actually re-grasp. Another release move, a ganger flip. Her coach Tom Forrester excited. You can see him in the corner of your screen. Watch this full twisting double. Yeah. Incredible. That dismount can't be done any better. From beginning to end, the best performance on the uneven bars we've seen so far tonight, Julianne. And this is a beautiful dismount to watch. Look at the form in the air. Beautiful height, and she actually drops out of it. Christy Powell getting back to her coach Tim, her coach, uh, excuse me, Tom Forrester out of Colorado Springs. You can see her braces, they just happen to be red and blue. Of course, her teeth are white. And now the results from the uneven parallel bars, both taking home gold medals, both from Colorado Springs, both from the East, Donnie Thompson and Christy Powell, 9.875 out of the West. Andrea Pickens from Houston, a surprise winner of the bronze. And now let's move on to the balance beam. The South's Samantha Muehlman up next on the balance beam from K. 